Hi guys, welcome to part 2 of the Python Turtle tutorial. In the last video we learned some basic movement commands for the turtle. In this video we're going to learn a few more commands to change the style and the colour of the shapes that we create. So I've kept the same project from last time but I have made a new Python file. And I've called this file lesson 2. Once that file is created I've put the import turtle and the turtle.done lines of code in which we need for every program. And the first two new commands we're going to learn are pen up and pen down. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to make the turtle move forward 100 units, and then I'm going to use the pen up command, and then I'm going to make the turtle move forward another 100 units. And let's see the result of that running. So you can see that our turtle draws a line 100 units long, and then it moves forward again another 100 units, but this time it hasn't drawn anything. That's because I've used the pen up command. You can basically think of that as the pen being lifted off the paper. If I add to my code, then I add a pen down command, and then another forward command. You'll see we get this start of a dashed line here. So the pen up command is really useful for moving the turtle around, but not drawing. What I can also do is use the pen color command to, funnily enough, change the color of the pen. So if I go to the top of my code and type that command, and that will accept most common colors surrounded by quote marks. So in this case, I'm going to use red. And again, if we run that program, we can see the results here. Another option is to change the size of the line that we draw. And to do that, I use the pen size command. And I have to specify the size as a positive number. And you can see there that a pen size of 20 is quite thick. OK, to show you the next command, I'm going to delete the code that I've got, and I'm going to put some code in to make a square like I had in the last lesson. So you should be able to tell now with my four forward commands and my four left commands that this will make a square. And just to double check that, there we go. To create a filled shape with a turtle, we use the turtle.beginFill command. And then at the end of our program, we use the turtle.endFill. When we run that code, we can see that the turtle draws the square outline, and then as it gets to the end, it fills it in behind. If we want to change the color of the shape, we can use the fillColor command, which is very similar to the penColor command. And when we run this, we see we get a blue square. Now the begin fill and end fill commands are quite powerful. If I move the end fill from the end of my program and put it somewhere in the middle, so after two of the forwards and two of the lefts, let's see what happens. So we run that code, and we can see there the turtle draws the first side, turns, draws the second side, and then the end fill automatically fills from the point it's at right back to the origin. And I get this kind of half square, this triangle shape filled in only. The thing to remember with the end fill command is that it always fills going back to the origin. OK, so that was quite a quick overview of some new commands with pen up and pen down and pen size and pen color and fill color, begin fill, and end fill. You can go back through the video to review those commands, and I'm going to leave you with some activities to try them out. In the next video, we're going to look at how we make our programs more efficient, and we're going to look at getting some user input as well.